Hello my fellow Hoovernauts! Back again for another Doctor Who video. But this time, we're gonna do something a little bit different. As you might have seen from my previous two videos, I like to come up with little theories to things that people don't really care about. Look, I care why the Doctor was bald, alright? Matters to me. There are some moments that bother me, and no matter how hard I think, I just can't come up with an excuse for them. Either that, or I really can't be bothered. I'm kind of selective that way. So maybe you guys can help me out a little bit here, and come up with a few theories of your own. Some of these don't even require a theory, they're just things that bother me a little bit. And I thought I'd get them out of my head and into yours. Cause I like ya. You. Yeah, you. The person watching this video right now. Don't thumbs down. So let's kick off with a simple one, shall we? The Doctor and the Fan. No, not that kind of fan. <laughs> oh, you silly. <laughs> you stupid arsehole. No, I'm talking about the fan in the second episode. I'm sure you guys all know this moment. The Doctor is stuck between two fans and he has to get to the pulley thing to save the day or some horrendous cockamamie Doctor who thing. The fan is spinning too fast and there's no way he can get past it. So, what does the Doctor do? Does he use his vast intellect to figure out a way to use the mechanicals around him to create a new border? No. No, he Jedi's it. He, uh... He uses the Force. What the f See, now maybe this happens in other episodes, but it just really sticks out here for me for some reason. The Doctor just closes his eyes and walks through the fan. Now, I've kind of made sense of this in my head. I pretended that this is, in fact, a doctor going into his mind palace. Quotatius quotation marks possible. For those of you who have seen season nine, they will know this awesome scene from Heaven Ascent. Peter Capaldi, as the doctor, explains how he gets out of these situations. He goes inside his own mind, pretends he's already survived, and then figures out a way to get through it. And if you look at the scene, it kind of looks like he's closing his eyes and he's going into his mind palace. And maybe we just don't get to see what he actually does. It's just a representation of it. Kind of. But still, I think it's kind of lame. And uh, yeah, you might disagree with me on that, but... Welcome to the internet. The Titanic. Now, the episode with the Titanic was actually fairly solid. I mean, it was a Christmas episode. It wasn't supposed to make a whole lick of sense. It was silly. It was fun. It was Christmassy. I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine with is what happens in turn left. I love this episode, and this is just a minor niggle. But in this episode, all the disasters that the Doctor originally foiled all come to pass. Including the Titanic hitting the Earth. Now what was it that the man said would happen when the Titanic hit the Earth? Because if a Max Capricorn ship hits the Earth, it destroys an entire planet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the devastation should have affected a bit more than just London. What the hell, man? Now the rest of the disasters have some kind of excuse, you know, Torchwood helped, or Sarah Jane fixed the, th the hospital thingy-majiggy. I'm fine with all that. And we can only be left to assume that someone on the Titanic averted it somehow to make the blast blessed. But even then, it doesn't fully work. I mean, who the hell fixed that? We never get to find out. There's no explanation for it, as far as I know. Maybe I missed it. But this is just a minor niggle. It doesn't bother me all that much because it's a fantastic episode. I love Turn Left. But every time I see that moment, I always think, shouldn't that have, like destroyed a bit more than just London? Nitpicky. The poem. Why do they have the poem? What is the purpose of the poem? Why do they have the poem there? There's no need for it. 
Now, if you don't remember this episode, which I'm sure you do, this is a star whale which is making the ship go. That's essentially it. These guys aren't bad guys, they're just... out of options. And so they feed a certain people to the star whale. I'm assuming to keep the star whale alive, and people who get too close to the truth. It's... a little bit complicated. That I'm fine with. What I don't get is, why do you need to really scare the hell out of them before you kill them? These guys aren't... <laughs> I will destroy everybody! No, they have no other way of getting round it, so this is a regrettable thing that they have to do. So why do they fit this horrifying poem in before they kill these people? Seems a bit unnecessarily mean, don't you think? I guess it looked pretty cool in the trailer. And finally... Whoa, what do I have against this speech, you ask? Nothing. The speech is awesome. It's powerful, it's badass, it just shows how cool the Doctor can be. With one final word, all the aliens turn off and run away from his majesty. But do they? Now, taken by itself, this speech is awesome. But in the context of the show, these aliens wanted to leave. They're setting up a trap for the Doctor. So he gives a speech, and they're planning on leaving him alone anyway to get on with it. That's their plan. So in reality, the speech didn't actually make them leave, it was what they were going to do in the first place. Kinda takes away from the awesome a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. I mean, I can just imagine all the aliens sitting up there going, Dude, this is, this is pretty awkward. Should we tell him? Nah, he'll stop eventually, and then we'll just leave him to it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. He has no idea what's gonna happen to him. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're, 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 we're gonna screw him up, yeah. Big time, yeah. He's, he's, he's boned, and he doesn't even know it. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, it's... It's you. You guys laughing about the doctor in the, uh... Yeah, 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 it's just, it's funny. Listen, man, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go and, uh... And do stuff. Why do you never let me hang out anymore? It's just, ever, you know, ever since Strax, it uh, kind of, you kind of lost your, you know, menacingness. Yeah, that dude hurt us a little bit. Sorry, went on a tangent there. But that'll do for now, whatever. These aren't big niggles, they're just little things. If you think I missed out on any big moments that really annoy you, feel free to pop them in the comments below. Make sure you thummy, subby, you a dummy. And until next time... Meh. Let's put it extra this way.